Hey guys, this is part 11 of the game programming tutorial in Java. In this one, I am going to make a couple of changes to everything, and I am also going to create a new class to handle explosions of enemies, graphical explosions. <clears throat> So back here in enemy, I want to change one thing. The colors are pretty bland, like just color blue. I, what I want to do is I want to um, keep the blue color, but this time I'm going to use half transparency. I want the enemies to be transparent, just to make it look a little bit cooler. Um, same thing here. So just new color red is RGB so first one and that's 128 so half transparency green is um, RGB 0250 128 okay also gonna finish up some ranks for the enemies so type 2 only has one rank so let's add the other ranks too Speed uh, 3, or 5, or not 5, 10, health, let's make that 3, rank 3, let's make the speed a little slower, larger, and health is going to be still 3, but rank 4, speed is going to be 2.5, R is going to be 30, health is going to be 4. Now these green ones, slow but hard to kill. Okay, so rank is going to be 2, and speed 1.5, R is... I'm going to make these actually larger. 6, rank is equal to 3. Speed is 1.5. Uh, 1 I guess all of them can go at 1.5. This is going to be 30. Ooh, that's maybe 25. Health is going to be 7. And rank 4 is speed 1.5 again. And this time 40. Ooh. Maybe 45. This thing is going to be pretty huge. 8 health. Awesome. So now that we did that, we need to go back to explode and set the amounts. If type is 2, this is the red one. I guess 3 is still fine. If type is 3 though, I want to change the amount to 4. <coughs> now the amount here is very important. It increases exponentially since, you know, when an enemy explodes, it explodes into whatever that amount is. So type 3, 4, that's um, 4 times 4 times 4, 64. So a rank 4 green enemy would explode in a, to a total of 64 small ones. That is a lot. I think I have that math right. Anyway, um, <clears throat> right, so when the enemies die, I want some kind of explosion to happen. I mean, not, nothing too fancy, so let's go ahead and create a, not new, copy, no, explosion class, explosion.java. Here it is. Okay. So for this, we're going to start off with our standard Java uh, import explosion. Hmm. Now the explosion, well, it's not really going to have that much stuff in it. Um, I guess just an X uh, oop, fields, private X. I am not really sure why I'm using double. Yeah. Since everything else is using double, except for the player. That's weird. 
Anyway, I'm just going to keep a double format. Um, I need radius as well. Radius RR. Okay. And I'm also going to need a max radius. Max radius here. Because um, the explosion that I have in mind is when an enemy dies, like a small ring starts where the enemy was and it just goes outward to some maximum radius and then disappears. So, public explosion, we need to give it four things here, um, x, y, radius, and max radius. So let's do that, this dot x is x, this dot y is y, this dot r is r, and max radius is max. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, I don't think we need any getters or setters for this thing because they're only going to be on the screen for just an extremely short time. Um, let's see. Now we need to do the two functions that we always do, update and draw graphics 2D G. Okay, so an update, um, basically what we're going to do an update is just make the explosion larger, so R++ should be fine. And now I have to check if the R is actually greater than or equal greater than or equal to max radius. Just like the bullet and the power-up, I'm going to change this to a uh, boolean. If we want to remove it by default, we're going to return false. We don't want to remove it. But once it's reached the max radius, then we're going to return true. We do want to remove it. Okay, so down here and draw. It's extremely simple. It's just going to be a white circle, I guess. Um, so g dot set color, and like what I did with the enemies, made them transparent. I'm gonna make this a little bit transparent too. So color white and half transparency. Cool. So let's do draw oval, and we're gonna draw at uh, x minus r, y minus r, and um, two times r. That should be it for the explosion. See, building new classes is pretty simple. Um, so now we have to have another list, this time with explosion. So explosions. And we have to set it down here. Um, explosions is new array list explosion. Explosion. Okay, so we have to put that in game update, player update, enemy update, power up update, now, explosion, Oop. update, so I have to go through all of them, um, less than explosions dot size, i plus plus, um, and just like with the power up we have to check if we need to remove them, so boolean remove explosions that get high that update and if remove simply remove it explosions that remove I go back one okay and we also need to draw it so go back here go down here to game render draw enemy draw power up draw explosions and i and zero i is less than explosions dot size i plus plus explosions dot get i dot draw g okay so now we have to actually put it into the game when do we want explosions to happen when enemies are dead so here check dead enemies um just at the end, explosions.add, we're going to create a new explosion, and the constructor was the coordinates x and y, radius, and a max radius. So this is just e.getx, e.gety, e.getr, and 
um, max radius. Uh, e dot get r plus thirty. I guess I have to base it on the original enemies r. So let's see how that looks. Oops. Um, compile and run. But uh -oh. cannot find symbol color in enemy. Oh, I must have spelled something color instead of color 1. What line was that? 36. Oops, color 1 here, not color. And the other one, game panel 222, double double int int, double 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 double. Oops, okay, so enemy here, when I did get R, this is actually supposed to be int, return an int. So back in enemy.java, get r should return an int. And it works. So now we should see some kind of explosion. <laughs> That's cool. Well, you can barely see it. So what I'm going to do is, um, here, I'm going to like always set the stroke to 3, basic stroke 3, and then set it back to 1 afterwards. Hopefully 3 is not too thick, but we'll see. Cool. <laughs> it's on the screen for quite a while though, since it's plus 30, that's an entire second since we're running at 30 FPS. So maybe I just shift it down to 20. And I want the explosion to go outwards faster, so actually this is going to be plus equals 2. So that means I have to change the radius. Ooh. I guess we can keep it at 30. I want to see what this looks like. It's always like an experimental thing. See what looks cool. So 2 radius and at 30 looks pretty good. <laughs> looks awesome. My double pea shooter. That looks very awesome. An extra life? That's supposed to be a 1 in 1000 chance. Hmm. I guess I got lucky with that. Oh god, I can't believe I didn't get hit. Anyway. So yeah, um, running out of time for this one, so I guess I will stop the video here. Um, in the next video, I am going to come up with some extra power-ups. Um, these ones are going to be like the temporary power-ups, like uh, stronger bullets or something, or exploding bullets, or freezing bullets. Um, temporary power-ups in the next video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.